Okay, we are solving question 24. Again, given to us is quadratic function and now we are doing completing the square. Okay, let's continue. S square. S square minus 4x plus 4 over 2 square. 4 ke? 4 ke? Check betul-betul. Negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4 over 2. Square. Minus. Negative, negative 4 over 2 square. square. Plus. Plus 1. Plus one. Okay, good. 1. Alright. And then? The, I mean, first and third term. The first. Yes, number. The first term and the third term without the square. Square. Okay, so X minus? Square. Minus 2. Two. Okay. Uh, you all kena sebut. Kalau you all tak sebut, I tak tahu you all betul ke salah. Okay. Alright. And then this one you have to solve. Minus. Okay. Negative 2 square. 4. 4. Plus 1. Four. So finally you will get x one. minus 2 square. Minus. Minus 3. three. Minus 3. three. So your HK, your HK, your minimum point is what? Negative 2 and negative negative two. 2 and negative 3. Kenapa pula negative 2? Kan bentuk dia x minus h oh, square. Yeah. So basically you just ambil two, je. Two. Ataupun kalau you confuse, you buatlah x minus 2 equals to 0. So x equals to 2. Tapi k terus ambil. Cikgu dah banyak kali dah buat contoh ni. You all, you all. Okay, so apa? 2 and negative 3. Kenapa? Kalau you salah minimum point, salah lah lukisan you. Salah lah you punya range, salah lah uh, domain biasanya uh, sama je sebab dia negative infinity up to infinity. But then your range, eh, you will get wrong lah. Eh? Okay, so now let's catch the point that we, we get just now. Okay, 2 and negative 3. Here, somewhere here. Okay. And then quadratic. So something like this. So by using horizontal line test, it cut at two points. Okay. So show. Okay. By using. So number A ni. By using horizontal line test. You all jangan buat short form macam I eh. You all buat full eh. It cut at two all points. All right. Therefore, it is not one to one function. Therefore, it doesn't have inverse. No inverse. Okay. All right, clear. We have done question A and then next B. Yeah. The function f will have an inverse if the domain of f is given by. Okay, macam mana? Okay, tadi kita tahu kalau kuadratik ni dia ada inverse. Uh, dia tak ada inverse because it cut at two points. So, macam mana cikgu nak edit graph ni supaya dia cut at one point sahaja? So, which part yang I kena delete or eliminate? Kalau I delete ini sahaja. Sikit ni je. Ada... Eh, kalau cikgu delete ni je Adakah dia masih cut at 2 point? Yes Kalau I delete sikit macam ni uh, Separuh je sampai exist je Adakah dia cut at 2 point or 1 point? Two. Masih lagi at 2 points So sampai mana ni? Sampai yang bawah tu Baru ni Dia mesti sepa Separuh Separuh mana? Separuh kiri ke separuh kanan? Kiri. Eh, eh, eh. Ha, 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 ha. Left, right. Which one? Which one we want to uh, remain? Which one we have to eliminate? Left or right? Left or right? Left. Ada yang kata left, ada yang kata right. Eh? Sebenarnya mana-mana satu pun bo boleh. Tak semestinya right saja. Eh? Because if you padam yang right, you eliminate the right um, uh, starting from mi the minimum point ini. Okay, it will it will still cut at one point. Okay. Uh, so it depends. Um, 
Okay, cuma dia kata apa? The function we have an inverse if the domain of f is given by x is greater than k. What is k? K dia kata minimum va value. So, sekarang ni minimum value adalah 2, negative 3. Tapi yang affected sekarang ni apa? 2 ke negative 3? Dia adalah domain. Two. Domain. So, siapa yang domain? 2 ke negative 3? 2. Yang terlibat dalam two. domain. Okay. Uh, x values or y values? X. X. X values. Okay, x values. So, 2. So, it's either x is greater and equal to or x less than 2. Will give us will have inverse fun function not both either one only salah sa salah sa salah satu tetapi dia nak apa given in the question apa greater x greater and equals k so pastinya mestilah yang dia nak adalah x greater and equals 2 so what is our values okay if we compare x greater than k so basically our k is 2 2 2 Ya, yeah, tu. Okay. So, you just rewrite your answer. B, D, X, X is greater than K. Okay. <coughs> Minimum value is to negative 3. Therefore, the k is therefore k mm -hmm. is to okay, find f inverse and state its domain. Okay, find f inverse of course um, buat seperti biasa lah. Okay, menggunakan function that I, that you that you get just now from okay, by doing completing the square. By completing the square just now what you get Y equals to, highlight kan sayang, apa ni? X minus, X minus 2 square minus 3. You tengok eh, you cannot do, you cannot find inverse by using uh, X square minus 4 X plus 1. Uh, tak boleh. Cubalah buat. F in, tengok eh, you want to write X as a subject. Okay, for example, you bring 1 to the left, 1 minus 1 x square minus 4x. Okay, and then when you factor x, x minus 4. And then y minus 1. And then you want x as a subject, tapi you are bringing x minus 4 on the left. So this is not uh, the, the inverse function. You never can re can get rid of x. If you use the, the quadratic function in a form of ax square plus bx plus c. Faham tak, students? Faham. You mesti guna bentuk Faham. bentuk ax minus h square plus k. Eh? The minimum or maximum point that you get from the completing the the square. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's why penting. First step dapat je quadratic function ni mesti buat completing the square dulu. Dari situ we can sketch the graph and then we can find the inverse later on. Huh? Okay. So let's continue. Be one Roman. Okay, so f inverse x equals to y. So your y is x minus 2 square minus 3. Okay, you want x as a subject. So everyone, y plus 3, x minus 2 square. Okay, you want to get rid of square. You square root both sides. So y plus 3 square x minus 2. So x equals to 2, two plus y plus 3. Okay, so rewrite f inverse is 2 plus x plus 3. Okay. Okay, so this is our f inverse. We have done the second part and state its domain. Okay, domain. Domain apa? Domain adalah apa? Is there any restriction for set function? Okay, you have to do chara. You have two method to find the domain. It's either from the function itself. Is there any restriction for set function? Or from the graph? Okay, first method. By looking at the function uh, f inverse. 
Is there any restriction for set function? Apa dia sayang? Cikgu dah ajar restriction ni. Hmm, set function, uh, the function must be apa? Greater and equal Z? Zero. Zero. Okay. Okay, so now x plus 3 must greater than 0. So x is greater than negative 3. So your domain of f inverse. Macam cara nak tulis? Domain f subscript. Eh? F inverse subscript. Kecil. Mesti write clearly. Okay, it's from negative 3. Close or open bracket? Close. Close. Okay, mesti close bracket because negative 3 is include. Included. Okay. Up to infinity. Infinity. So that's our answer. That's our answer. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, itu yang a method yang pertama. By looking at the restriction of our function. Eh, which is in our case set function. Okay. Now second method is from the graph itself. Okay. So now let's sketch the graph um, Nicely, yang tadi itu kita uh, kita tak ambil left hand side, eh. kita ambil yang right. Because it's already stated x greater. Ha? Dia nak yang belah kanan, eh, greater. Then the uh, domain x equals to 2 tadi. Okay. Alright, so cikgu kena padam yang ini. So, besarkan, you, you focus on the, the graph itself. Okay, macam tu. Okay, so maksudnya apa ni? This is x equals to 2. This is negative 3. Okay, if there is any uh, intercept at x or y exists, we have to find the va values. Betul tak? So sekarang ada x intercept or y intercept? X. X intercept. Okay, can you tell me the values for x intercept? So x intercept y equals to zero. Okay, so berapa zero? X square minus four x plus one. So what is the factor? Yeah. Perpuluhan pun tak apa, tak ada masalah, ha? You must get two values. Okay, we expect, we do expect we have two values. Satu negatif, satu positif. But we are taking the positive values. Eh? 3.73. Okay, x minus 3.73. The other one, the other values? 0 0.268. Do, dua dua pun positif ke? Ah. Oh, so macam tu, um, kita kena... So sepatutnya lukisan cikgu tadi bukan selebar-lebarnya lah. Dia adalah macam very steep and macam tu eh. Somewhere everything on the right. Negative. Eh? Uh -huh. Memang tak ada negatif eh? Uh -huh, tak ada. Okay. Alright. Tak ada. Okay sebab I tak lukis ikut skala. So kalau dua sepatutnya you buatlah jauh sikit. Macam cikgu ni dua pun tak macam dua eh. So you buat jauh sikit. So that. Um, ni kenapa I. Okay. Okay. So, satu three point seven two. Another values is. Another values again. Zero point two six eight. Zero point two six. Okay, zero point two six. So, agak-agak you, which one is zero point two six? Which one is three point seven? Pastinya, yang 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 cut here. 3.73. 3.72. Okay. So, cara nak lukis untuk inverse adalah 3.72 on your x axis. Bila the f inverse, dia akan jadi y values. 3.72. Okay. So, kalau tadi nilai x is 2. So, sekarang nilai y yang akan jadi 2. Two and negative three. So kalau tadi two and negative three, sekarang nilai dia akan jadi negative three two. So negative three two kat mana? Somewhere here and here. Okay. So negative three two. Ah, they must swap the x and y. Okay, and then cut. Okay. 
Ah, dia macam tu. Dia mesti berjumpa at the end of the uh, at the end of uh, your working, dia mesti berjumpa macam tu nicely macam tu eh. Ah, uh, cikgu cikgu tak ikut uh, betul-betul dia punya uh, ni you all okay selit lot lah. Okay, boleh ke? Boleh. Okay. So, dari situ, dari situ you tahu domain. Domain of this function, F inverse ni. Okay. So, kena tulis F inverse. Yang hijau adalah Fx. Okay. Alright. So, kalau tengok domain, domain dia uh, apa? X must be greater than apa? X must be greater than? Tengok ni. Sampai hujung. So, dia adalah apa? This is negative 3. So, X must be greater than? Negatif? Negatif. So, you all prefer yang mana? You all uh, prefer method first or method second method? First. First method. Yes, first method is a lot easier because in your case, you are given a set function which you know that the set function, the restriction is wide. Eh? So, it's easier untuk uh, terus state the domain from your F inverse. Okay, but sometimes uh, you punya function tu end up macam uh, yang yang you you tak dapat nak tafsirkan dia punya restriction so in that case you kena guna sketch okay boleh semua boleh, boleh. Hmm. tapi boleh. since in your since in your syllabus only consists of uh, all those four graph all those four function so i believe that they won't give any other function lah biasanya mesti main inilah Uh, mesti set lah eh. Tapi in case lah dapat yang lain kan. Uh, because we cannot plan kan. Eh. Sometimes dia nak claim itu soalan hot ke apa ke kan. Eh. Kita pun tak tahu. You just, so you just prepare. Okay. Okay. Alright. Tadi you nak tanya apa soalan odok kan. Eh. Ha. 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 Okay odok. Apa eh nama group mat tu. Okay, man, it's math eh? Math. Okay, what's the question? Hmm, nak cari GX. Ini sama macam cikgu buat untuk cari GX tu. Ada cikgu buat dekat dalam uh, YouTube cikgu dah upload. Video hari Jumaat ke Kamis tak silap. Okay, siapa yang tak boleh buat kena tengok video ni. Mat. Mat. Apa nama kita? Bank kan? B-A-N-K. Bank. Okay. You all cara you all nak tengok. Cikgu dah hajar ke tak? You all scan. Tengoklah dekat photos tu kan. Bawah tu mesti ada video. Ha, you all tengok. Sama ke tak soalan ni? In fact, this question 13 is a lot harder. Because it consists of rational function. Tengok. Dia nak cari. GX, given FGX, composite function. Dia dah bagi composite function to X plus 1. Dia nak you cari function yang di dalam iaitu GX. I dah kata kalau nak cari luar kena let, let you nak cari dalam masukkan saha, sahaja. Nampak tak soalan 13C ni everyone? Nampak. Okay, cuba tengok macam mana cikgu buat untuk FGX to X plus 1 ni. The first step apa kita buat? Okay, ni fx ni betul kan eh. Gx kan eh, sepatutnya eh. Yang green ni. Eh. Oh, itu A. Sorry, sorry. A tu betul. F, fx. Uh, here, look at C. Nampak tak mouse I? Tak nampak eh. Okay, you all tengok C yang warna biru ni. Fgx is equals to 2x plus 1. Okay, what is our f? Semua orang tengok function f dekat atas ni. 3x over x minus 2. So, apa yang kita buat? We substitute x with our g. GX, nampak tak? Ha. So, 3X, so dia jadi 3GX over, so X minus 2, so it becoming GX minus 2. So, and then, because it is rational, so bear in mind apa yang you nak, you want GX. You want GX. You want your GX as a sub, subject. So, GX yang dekat bawah ni, kena bawa pergi belah kanan dulu. You bring to the right and then you expand as usual. Nampak tak cikgu expand ni? Nampak. Okay. Expand. Expand mesti dapat empat terms. Eh? Uh, dua dalam dua kan. So, mesti end up with four terms. Expand elok-elok. Angkut cawan elok-elok. 
Okay, and then rearrange. You see, you have GX on both sides, left and right. Nampak tak? Nampak. Okay, so you bring, Nampak. you collect all the GX terms to the left. And then later on, you factor out. Okay, bila you factor out, akan end up with rational function juga. Okay, tapi uh, macam dalam kes kita ni, we can uh, simplify which you factor with 2. So that's why cikgu dapat instead of 4, kita dapat 2. Okay, and then we factor negative. Eh? Uh, so you will get to x plus 1 over x minus 1. So this question is the best untuk you jawab soalan odok ni. Boleh tak cikgu bagi you all buat cuba dulu? Because the question is quite similar. Boleh, Tugas boleh. you adalah nak boleh. mencari boleh. bahagian ah bahagian function yang dalam gx kan? Sama tak? Tengok tu soalan odok you all. Mana untuk? Sama kan? Nak cari GX kan? Sama. So I think I let you to do it yourself first and then we'll see. Math. Uh, mathematics. Math, mathematics. Kevin S. Math. Ha. Ah. Sama juga composite, given composite function 6x minus 7, given to you fx, they want gx. Sama exactly. But this one a lot easier because it is just a linear function. Tadi rational function. Ah, Lagi mencabar. You all dah buat sesusah-susah soalan. Apatah lagi yang ini? Mesti lagi boleh bu, boleh buat. Okay. Tapi okay. ini Tuesday. You tanya Tuesday ke? You tanya Monday? You tanya Monday kan? Monday. Monday. Okay. Okay, given that fx is 3x minus 1, gx is px plus 4. Given the com composite function is 3. Okay, before before this, you dapat composite function. Sekarang ni dia bagi composite values. Tak ada masalah. Because when given to you values, mesti dia nak minta unknown. Ah. So, masukkan je. Masukkan sahaja GX. Okay, so sekarang function dia hati-hati ya. -hati, eh. Biasa FG, this time GF. Tapi tak ada masalah. Okay, tak apalah. Cikgu buatlah juga you all ni. Okay, kita tengok soalan komposit tu. Komposit tu dia dah bagi apa? Dia bagi GF, G, G, F, 2 equals to 3. Okay, what does it mean by 2 kat dalam bracket ni? Apa maksud dia? 2 ini kena dimasuk, yes, X. kena digantikan dalam X, X. untuk function X. apa? Yeah, fx ke gx? fx. fx, exactly. Yeah. So, kita buat apa yang kita tahu dulu. Kita buat apa yang kita tahu dulu. So, f2. So, 3, 2, minus 1. Because of function 3x. So, 2 masukkan. Okay, so 6 minus 1 dapat apa sayang? 5. 5. Okay. 6 minus 1, you dapat 5. Okay, so sekarang. G, F, 2, equals to 3. Sekarang F2 ini berapa? 5. 5. Jawapan 3. So, 5 masukkan kat dalam G. So, so P, X plus 4 equals to 3. So, your X adalah apa? Your five. X kena masuk 5. Yes, you kena masukkan 5. 5 P. Okay, so yang ni you teruskan. Oleh student. Oh, senangnya. Senang sangat. So, mesti ingat eh. Alright. So, cikgu ada meeting. So, apa-apa you, you PM me. Okay, I think we we'll stop here. Okay. Oleh student. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum. Salam, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Bye. Bye.